Well, Senate leaders say that they are backing a breakthrough plan to control immigration at the southern border. It's part of a broader national security bill that took months to work out, but it's strongly opposed by many House Republicans and some Democrats. Nicole Killian has more on this deal from Capitol Hill. So we heard a lot of rumors, but we finally saw the text. Tell us what this bill says. Well, this is a $118 billion national security package that includes a component of border security, some $20 billion. It's going towards border security. And you recall that many congressional Republicans said that they didn't want to act on this national security package until uh, the border was addressed. So those border provisions, uh, you know, basically, uh, in addition to providing funding for Ukraine, Israel, uh, humanitarian assistance, as well as support for the Indo-Pacific, uh, those border provisions are really kind of what everyone is reacting to. Uh, it basically tightens up the asylum process. It streamlines cases so that they can be resolved in six months or less, as opposed to some people languishing here in, in this country for years, awaiting on a hearing. And it also gives the administration new temporary emergency authority to, in effect, shut down the border when migrant encounters reach a certain threshold. Uh, that threshold right now is about 5,000 migrant encounters per day over a week. Uh, once that occurs, then in effect, uh, you know, authorities can have the power to shut down the border so they are able to process uh, the volumes of people and not so much that they will be allowed to stay in the country, but at least to uh, start making that determination as to whether or not they qualify for asylum. And if they don't, uh, then they could face deportation. So this bill was already facing pushback. I mean, even before anyone saw the text, some people at least were saying, can I just see the text first and then I'll let you know. But this is this is strictly about the crisis at the border. It's not a major overhaul of the immigration system. So why so much criticism? Well, it is some of the most strictest the provisions uh, that we have seen in some time with respect to the border. I mean, keep in mind that, uh, you know, some of these provisions were kind of a non-starter for uh, particularly many uh, Democrats. So, you know, they are kind of moving on the issue. And because there hasn't been uh, a lot done to address the border crisis, it is significant that there is now this bipartisan compromise to move it forward. But as you see there from Speaker Mike Johnson, he's been very critical of this package, saying it's even worse than we expected, uh, saying that it will be dead on arrival. His number two in the House, and Majority Leader Steve Scalise, uh, went so far as to say that this Senate bill will not be considered for a vote on the House floor. So House Republicans effectively closing the door to this, although uh, one of the lead Republican negotiators here in the Senate said that he plans to circle up with Speaker Johnson's team and, uh, you know, try to see uh, if there is still an opening there. All right, Nicole, thank you very much. You bet.